watching, but you're watching me, you're taking off. hey guys welcome back to my channel so what is up oh my god it's been like forever since i recorded a video it's been like what two and a half weeks and i do apologize for that but you know your girl has been sick with the flu i was down for like a couple days a week with that and then you know when i have people over the house like my nieces and nephews i can't record a video because it'll be a disaster and then christmas happened i meant to record a video but i am here and i'm back and i'm so excited to to see you guys you know I'm here and we're gonna finish talking about you know my little mini series of starting from the top we basically did the, the, the canvas of our face now we doing all the fun stuff today like the highlight and blush um eyeliner and I'm just gonna show you how and where talk about a little bit and just you know go jump right into the video to show you how to apply it but I already did my eyebrows I already did my highlighting foundation contour and I did a little bit of eyeshadow and listen listen this eyeshadow don't even not right now that's gonna be a whole nother video of eyeshadow by itself so i already did it just for the sake of this video so we're just gonna jump right in you know but just to talk about you know from the top um like i said we did everything else we're gonna be talking about all the fun extra stuff that you can add on you did your you now you perfected your canvas this is your canvas you did you did your whole face and now you want to put the finishing touches on it so we're gonna talk about blushes and blushes is my favorite thing to talk about. I know in my last video I spoke about you know concealer being one of my favorite products. After that, it would have to be blush. I literally have a drawer full of blush. I love but blush palettes. I love anything blush. That's one of the first makeup products I um I bought as a beginner and just wore it by itself. I love, 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 love blush. I think blush, I think. One of the first um blushes I um I use from Mac is this one. It's called um Sweetest Cocoa. And when I say yeah, I'm hitting pan on this, but I still have it. And I used to wear this faithfully all the time. All every single day I wore this blush and I just I love it. I haven't worn it in a while, but I really love this blush. But you have so many different types of um blush. You have cream blush. You know, powder blush. You have different types um, from different brands. I don't, this is actually my favorite. And I have another one from MAC that is my favorite that I'm going to use today. And um, blush is just, you know, you put it as a flush of color to your skin. You just want to add a flush of color. So it can be any color. It can come in any form. I have so many blush palettes here. Um, but I like to stay almost like, you know, um, I like a mauve. And since that's what, like, kind of my eyes are, I'm going to go with this color today. This is a bomb color is called raisin and it's by um mac and i like to use a couple brushes when i go to um doing blush like these three brushes um brushes i'm sorry i don't know you know so these three um brushes and i like to use that there i've been using them all week so um i typically like to use something like sometimes an uh, angled one like this to go like that or you know however you want to apply i love blush so i will put on a lot of blush i i just i love blush i, I love i love 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 and some um tricks that i learned along the way that people say you do you suck in your cheek and you put it but you just put it on the apples of your cheeks and i you apply how, how much you want because you know i do that so i'm gonna just apply that and i'm gonna actually use this brush right here and this is an elf brush and I'm just gonna dig right into this. And I'm just gonna use my little I like to smile with it. And let's just bring him up a flush of color. Just like that. And like I said, I love blush, so I tend to always go overboard or putting on blush my sister tells me all the time but I always blend it out but I love blush you don't want to clown so you want to make sure it's of course blended but I love a good blush I just I don't know I just that's my thing I love blush so I mean yeah that's blush and then my next step, what I will typically go in with after the blush, would be highlighting. 
Now, I recently, not recently, you know, in the past past year or two, just got into her like, like I'm late with everything. So I have a couple, I have a lot, I have a lot of um, highlight. My favorite, my first one I bought is Fenty. I love Fenty and I, um, it's called Cinnamon. And I typically don't like to go heavy with highlight. I'm not one of the people that, some people put it everywhere and they just like to just shine everywhere. But I just like a little, you know, subtle highlight. And I normally put it, you know, you can put this um anywhere. I normally put it, that's my brush. I normally put it um just like right up on top of my blush on like the temples of my head. You can put it on the bridge of your nose. Right here, you can put it right here. I don't I just I'm really simple when it comes down to highlight. And you can use again any of these brushes. And I can't find my um fan brush, but I have a fan brush that I use and so I just I like to go in with this one. And I just take some of the product off. And I just like to glow a little bit. Just just a little nice glow, subtle glow. And I really like this sentiment. And I just like to. But you, we have a lot more. I have this one from Too Faced, of course. My small brand. I'm my, this is an OG. This is um, Gold Deposit from MAC. This is a another good one. But I'm going to use cinnamon today. I thought I was going to use go to deposit but I just use you know, cinnamon since it's already on my brush and I like to just go right over my um blush see that it's a nice subtle I don't like so you can go like temples like right above your, your temples on your forehead in a nice subtle how I don't I, I don't do all the extra stuff Everybody else too, and it's palm on them, but I just I like for mine to be a little subtle, a little bit. I don't go heavy on the highlight. I'm gonna just do it on both sides. Do it on both sides, and I take it up just like right here, just like that. You see that nice subtle glow? That's pretty. This is a really um good color. I like this one, and then I just like to go like. A little button nose and I'll just go right here on top of my highlight and you have a little glow going on yes that's cute though okay so next <coughs> excuse me we're gonna talk about eyeliner now eyeliner liquids or you have a gel or you have a pencil. I typically like to do um, a, a liquid on the top and I would do um, a, a pencil at the bottom or I would do a gel at the top. I've been using the gel a lot lately. It's been nice, but for today's video, I'm going to use this NYX and this is nice um, liquid liner and I can't really talk when I do this. So I'm just gonna have to show you. So I can bring you in a little bit. Okay. Bring you in a little bit, cause I can't talk in this at the same time. So, and I'm not doing a wing. I'm simple. You remember? Just showing you how to apply it. You just want to get as close to the lash line as possible. And you don't want to mess this up because if you mess this up, then you're going to have to either do your eyeshadow all the way over or you're going to have to make it bigger. So that's why I don't talk. You want to get this right on the first one. Just like that. Um, another video for a cat eye or a winged eye, whatever. That'd be another video. Um, I did not have out my own. 
pencil for uh, but I found that really quick and I like to go on with like with a waterproof um oh, oh, is, this, is this a pencil a waterproof I don't even know if this is the right pencil to go on with a waterproof um pencil for the bottom and I just go on go in and so just like that you just doing detail now so I feel like these extra steps are detailed stuff that you just you know just want to make you look pop even more you don't have to do any of these extra steps you could have stopped so yeah so um I got my lashes done shout out to angel eyes lash extensions I got my lashes done so I don't need to apply lashes um falsies or anything i get lash extensions shout out to her her, her link will be at the bottom of the video um somewhere i put it so that you can follow her on her ig page but yeah that's it um i would normally probably go on with some mascara if i was um didn't have on any of my own um, lash extensions so i put on some mascara so that's that and yeah i think that oh and, and okay we, we can do we can finish it up we finish it up. I know I never know what lip. I just have this lip pencil. And I can't find my other lip pencil that I had for the longest. I don't know where it's at, but I know. It's it was my bomb Mac bittersweet um lip pencil. And I cannot I had this thing for years. It was my first lip liner. And I had it up until I cannot find it. I don't know where it's at, but I've been using this one. I found this in my boxy charm. And so I'm going to use it. And it's really. Mm. And I like to. Okay, we almost done and I'm so excited because we did a full look. We did, we're doing a full look. We're doing a full, full look. And I just bought this um, lipstick from Sephora. It's from the Sephora brand and it's from their stories line. And I bought it for Christmas for everybody so I bought an extra one. We're going to use it today so I don't even know how if this really go. But my eyeshadow is like, it's giving y'all like a purple vibe, but it's not. It's really like neutral like browns and um, stuff like that. So yeah, that's the one we're gonna use. So this is like a burgundy. Oh, I hate this high This is like so all over the place I feel like. This is not mad and I thought it was. So sometimes I like to go back in with my liner. Um I really don't like this look with this, but you get the picture. Oh, uh, I really don't like this look with this. I'm probably gonna take this slip off. Yeah, I don't like this look with this. But anywho. 
we did a full face of makeup guys it's like, like we got through it so this is my series so we did the blush today we did the highlight we did the eyeliner i will have used mascara um but let me just talk about mascara the best mascara to use straight up is um benefits um better than sex mascara is hands down the best mascara to use it gives you volume it is just the best it's i love that mascara i don't bought so many of them and i don't have any here today because um I, I need some i'm just i ran out of it so um yeah but that is the best mascara to use better than sex i don't even have any one to compare because i've been using that one only but better than sex benefits mascara is my jam so um yeah you, you might want the pink one because i think it's a blue one i haven't tried the blue one but the pink one is the bomb but yes we did everything we went over blush we got highlight we did our, um eyeliner we did we talked about mascara we did this little ugly look that i'm about to take off but we, we, we completed a full face so i want y'all to let me know you know what y'all have y'all been practicing the full face y'all let me know my next video is going to be like kind of of i don't even want to tell y'all what it's going to be but you, you're going to see it when it comes this, but it's going to be talking about this it's, it's still this we in this but it's going to be kind of cute how i'm going to do it but you know um stay tuned for my next video if you haven't already like subscribe to my channel um for you, all my newbies out there for everybody that's been what we been walk rock with me through this whole series thank you um yeah but yeah let's just i'll see y'all in my next video and yeah bye